everybody. It's Ashley from Get Fit with Ashley, and I am here today with Bo and Trixie. Bo is in a long nap. I just tried to wake him up and can't can't even get him to open his eyes. So <laughs> he's likely not going to join us for this workout, but I am really glad that you're here. Welcome. Welcome to your intro to upper body. This is a 20 minute, no repeat workout for your arms, your chest, your back and your shoulders. We're working all the upper half of you, all right? And this is one of the workouts in my foundation series. Now you can get the full foundation series, which is a free two week workout plan for total beginners on my website, getfitwithashley.com slash plans, okay? Hey, Karen, I see you out there. Hello. If you're out there today, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're from. I'd love to put you on my world map, which is now illuminated with some beautiful lights. I'll tell you about that in a second. What do you need for the workout today? Well, I welcome you to get some weights for your workout if you'd like to use some dumbbells, something in the light range, okay, or whatever you might be used to lifting depending on your level, all right? I have three pounds here today, 1.4 kilograms. So anything in that light range, we are gonna be working in a no repeat upper body workout. So we'll expect a little fatigue. I also have a chair here to help with balance and assistance. But again, dumbbells and our chair are optional. All right, if you wanna get some equipment, go and gather that equipment. You just need a pair of sneakers and a safe place to work. And we're gonna get started with a quick warm up. okay? All right, let's get warmed up here. Let's take some. So it's all upper body, so we'll just warm up the upper body today. I'm gonna be using the chair to help with balance and help with form, all right? But if you have a table, a bench, even a wall, um, that can work as well. And I can show you how to do it without all of those things. So don't stress if you don't have it, all right? Let me tell you about the workout. As I said, it's no repeats. There are 15 exercises here, okay? And we're going to split them up by major muscle group. And I'll describe the muscle group and muscles that we're working as we go. All right, now every exercise that we're gonna do, shoulder rolls is for 40 seconds on and then 20 seconds rest before we move on to the next one. A few minutes here to warm up and we'll get into it. Good. Now, um, as I mentioned, this is a workout that's part of my foundation series, okay? All right, neck rolls here. And my foundation series is a free two week plan and I developed this plan for anybody who is new to fitness, just getting started with strength training, or maybe returning after time away, such as an injury or just sort of like years or months or <laughs> decades, perhaps, of a sedentary lifestyle. You wanna get back into strength training, this is a great program for you. So go check it out, getfitwithashley.com slash uh, plants, okay? Let's do some good mornings and stuff before here. All right. We're gonna focus on three goals for the foundation program. That's this workout and all the other nine workouts in this program. And that is, we're gonna practice good form, we're gonna build strength, and we're gonna boost confidence. Every rep, every second, every minute, I want you to be thinking about good form, the muscles you're working, building strength, and then the outcome of that is gonna be the confidence that you build. Say, hey, I feel stronger. I feel better, I can do more. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going, right? That's the goal here. Let's get some hip circles. All right, so my world map behind me, if you haven't heard about this, <laughs> now you're just hearing for the first time, I have a beautiful world map on the wall and I have push pins in the world map to celebrate all of my subscribers, that's you, and my in-person clients. I do training and group exercise locally here. So. I wish you could get a close-up of that, but you can see close-up of it on my site. Um, I have lots of countries and cities represented, and I would love to add you. So if you haven't told me already where you're from, leave me a comment and let me know. I'll respond to you, and I'll put a push pin in the map just for you. All right, I want you to grab your weights. Just one weight to start. We're gonna start with a tricep kickback. Tricep, back of the arms here. I'm gonna use the chair here just to show you my form. I've got my elbow back here, and I'm starting here on my left arm. Extend and return, all right? Now, for this tricep kick back, I want you to keep your back nice and straight, and I want you to keep your elbow high. If you drop your elbow, you are starting to work your shoulders and perhaps your biceps as well. Your triceps are in the back of your arm. They are an opposing muscle group to your biceps, okay? A lot of times they are 
more underdeveloped than the biceps. They're a little more challenging to work <laughs> and usually not as strong as the biceps. Okay, let's keep going here. Good. We're going to get that on the other side. That was our first one. Okay. I'm just turning the chair around so that you can see me. We're going to get that on the side. Now, triceps right here in the back of the arm here, made up of three muscles. That's what the tri stands for. Okay. You have a long head and a short head and a medial. They're going to work together on these exercises here. I like the tricep kickback because when you come into that full extension, you can really feel the pinch and you feel the muscles that are working. Now, as I'm gonna describe as we go through this workout, your triceps are push muscles. Your upper body is made up of pull muscles and push muscles. I'm gonna describe the difference and tell you as we're going today. Triceps are one of your push muscles, and what does that mean? It means when the weight is being pushed away from you, away from the center line of your body, that's where the work is being done. So as I push this weight back, that's where I am pinching my tricep and strengthening my tricep. Good. Two down. Let's grab the second weight. Next one and final one for the triceps is an overhead tricep press. Let's take your arms overhead. I want you to bend your elbows, take your weights behind your head, don't hit your head, and then bring them straight overhead again, okay? Once again, the weight, the work is being done as we push your arms in the air relax as your arms come back down now make sure that your elbows are pointed straight ahead good tricep push overhead push you got it good as far as your breathing goes exhale as your arms come up inhale as they go back down Ooh, i hope you feel some uh, fatigue in your triceps building here Three minutes of triceps is no joke for beginners, right? I know I feel it. And let's take a rest, good. We're gonna move on now to the biceps. This is the front of your arm here, all right? Now, we don't need a chair for this one, although if you're feeling tired, you can do all of these exercises seated just as effectively. All right, palms toward me, palms toward the front, and we're gonna curl, right? I want you to curl up, tighten up your bicep as you curl up and come back down. Now loosen your grip on your weights. And down. Uh, keep your elbows in really tight because we're just trying to isolate the forearm movement. All right? Once you start lifting your elbows, that's when you start working your shoulders and we're trying to isolate as best we can our biceps. Biceps are pull muscles. When the weight work is being done, right here on this curl, the weight is coming toward us or pulling toward us. Opposite of push. We just did tricep push, bicep is a pull muscle. Good, take a break. Bicep is made up of several different muscles, but the most common two you hear of are the long head and the short head. The curl that we just did works the whole bicep. We're gonna be getting into hammer curls next, which works more of the long head, the forearm, and the wrist. All right, for your hammer curl, curl palms facing one another, and keep your palms facing one another, okay? Exhale as you pull in, inhale, release. All right, so you can see a little bit more of your forearm is being tired from this one. People ask, which, which is the best kind of way to get results for your biceps? Is it the standard bicep curl or the hammer curl? And the question is, do both, or the answer is, do a little of both. <laughs> you need both of them. There's no best, there's no best one. They're different, they work your muscles a little differently. We're gonna get into a third one coming up here. Good, all right, take a break, good. <laughs> you are already done five out of the 15 sets. All right, next one is called a reverse curl. And now your palms are gonna face down. All right, so we've had them up, we've had them side, now we're having them down. Keep your elbows in tight and curl, turn your palms toward me and return. All right, here we go. Exhale up, inhale lower, good. Now, this is an effective bicep exercise, but it's starting to recruit here, once again, the forearm, like the hammer curl, but also your grip, okay? This is a very good exercise for grip strength. As you can see, because your palms are facing down, you can't let go of the weights. You can't open your fingers. 
on that first curl that we did while your palms are facing up, you can open your fingers. The weights aren't going anywhere. I'm just, I was just using my thumbs there, right? All right, so good one for grip. Now that being said, don't grip too tight. All right, just as loose as you can to keep it going. Excellent. You've done triceps, push. You've done biceps, pull. We're going back to a push muscle, which is your chest, okay? We're gonna be doing the pec deck, or sometimes I call it French doors. Open up your arms here into goal post arms, light grip on the weights. You're gonna close in, try to think about bringing your elbows together and open up. So your chest is made up of a bunch of different muscles. Most people think about the pecs or a pectoralis, the major and minor. The major is the biggest one, the fan-shaped one that goes across your chest. And the minor one is on the top and much smaller, maybe a quarter of the size. Chest muscles are push muscles. Chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'll give it away right now. Chest, shoulders, and triceps are your push muscles. <laughs> Good. Take a rest. Next one for your chest is gonna be upward fly. We're gonna turn your palms up just like we did with a standard bicep curl, and we're gonna raise your arms in the air as high as you can get them. Now, keep a slight bend in your arms. You don't wanna lock them out, and you wanna loosen up your shoulders. Just relax your shoulders. Don't scrunch them by your ears. We're gonna lift up on our exhale and lift down. Or come down slowly. Lift up and come on down, right. Now, if you find yourself wearing your chin as a necklace, relax. You're only moving your arms forward, okay? It's a good exercise for your chest, but also your anterior delts. Delts are your shoulder muscles. We'll get to that in a second. But it's the front of your shoulders, your shoulder muscles that help you lift your arms. On the top of that motion, that's a chest. Great job. Let's drop the weights and we're gonna get to push-ups. I know, you were probably hoping there were no push-ups in the workout. Now, are you near a wall, a sofa, a chair? I'm gonna do them on my chair here, all right? Just gonna have a light grip on my chair, gonna back up a little bit and just lower my chest toward the chair, okay? Elbows splayed to the sides. Let's go. Let's lower down and press. Now, I want you to take your butt with you, all right? What does that mean? It means my shoulders, hips, knees, ankles are all in a straight line. Sure, you can do these on the mat as well. If you're ready for the mat, you can go ahead and do your push-ups on the mat. Otherwise, standing push-ups, counter push-ups, chair push-ups, fine place to start, okay? Try to take your butt down there with you. What do I mean by that? Don't bow into your push-up. Come on into in a straight line, taking your chest, and belly toward the bar or the chair. Excellent. All right, we've done triceps, biceps, and chest. We're getting now into your upper back, okay? It's a bunch of muscles in your upper back. We're gonna focus on a reverse fly first, all right? So, put this weight here in my right hand, put my right toe back, and I'm gonna lift one arm with my palm facing down. Lift and squeeze, squeeze your shoulder blades together. On this reverse fly, you're working your trapezoid, your rhombus, and the back of your shoulders, side, uh, side and back of your shoulders. Traps, rhomboids, back of your shoulders. I said that backwards, didn't I? <laughs> Trapezius and rhomboids. I think I said rhombus. Squeeze and come down. Good. Right. Traps right here. You can see these at the top of your shoulders. Rhomboids are the middle of your back and underneath. Let's get that on the other side. I'm gonna put the weight here in my left hand. You can turn around or you can move your chair if you have one. If you don't have a chair today, hand on one leg for support is just fine. Let's go, let's squeeze. Up and down. Great. I want you to think about the muscles that you're working here. Think about your upper back here, right at the back of your shoulder, and squeeze like you're pinching your shoulder blades together with each rep. 
This unilateral work here is also a benefit for um, working on your balance as well. See, because I'm in, kind of in a split stance position here. Now you can do two arms at once, but we're just focused on one for today. Great. All right, now we're gonna move into a second back exercise, and we're gonna also recruit what's called the lats, or latissimus dorsi, okay? That's these muscles in the back of your back here that are down a little bit lower and on the sides. And this, this exercise is called a row, and we're gonna be hip hinged. I'll show you from the side, hip hinged, and we're gonna pull. All right, once again, squeezing your shoulder blades together. You'll see that my back is really nice and straight, and I'm trying to make the biggest row I can, the biggest range of motion. So I'm pulling my waist all the way up to my armpit, and then I let them fall with control. Good. Exhale and lift. Great. You got it. Back muscle here. Back muscles here that we're working today are pull muscles, just like the biceps. The work is being done as I pull the weight closer to me. Nice work, really nice job. Okay, we're at the final set here, which is the final three exercises, and they're for your shoulders, all right? Muscles of your shoulders, pretty simple to understand. Front, middle, and rear delts, or anterior, lateral, and posterior delts. Front raise, let's go, palms down. Your anterior delts, or the fronts of your shoulders right here, are responsible for pulling your arms forward. That's what we're working here with the front raise. Now, if you need a little relief from any of this, feel free to drop your weights, or you can do one arm at a time, okay? Exhale up, and inhale down. Shoulders are push muscles. And push the weight away from us. Like an overhead press would be a good shoulder exercise. Push-ups recruit the shoulders, of course. We did those for chest, but good for shoulders and, as well, and triceps. Some of these upper body exercises, it's hard to just isolate the shoulders or just isolate the back. There's lots going on here, uh, especially when we're using free weights and we're not at machines, right? Machines are good. We're going to do a lateral raise um, for your medial, okay? Your middle delt here. Uh, lateral raise, here we go. Yeah, so the difference between, there's a lot of differences between working out in a gym on equipment um, for your upper body here uh, versus what we're doing today. And there's no right answer. One's not better than the other. It's really preference and really what your goals are. Um, I do a lot of mostly um, dumbbell training, as you can see from my videos and my studio here. Um, and I like that. I think about that as more functional exercise because as I mentioned, you know, we're not isolating particular muscle groups. We're working multiple muscle groups at the same time. When you're uh, working on equipment, uh, specific um, shoulder equipment or preacher curls at the gym or leg extension, that kind of thing, a lot of times that equipment has your body in a specific position so that it targets and isolates specific muscle groups. And that's great, depending on your goals, um, any one of those things work. All right, we've got shoulder rotation next. Let's hold it L-shape out and in right we're working on external shoulder rotation and our rear delts the back of our shoulders are responsible for external shoulder rotation good this is a great functional exercise here and we're going to hit this for a solid minute all right so if you need a little relief from it you can do one arm at a time hi miko thanks for joining oh he likes this workout huh and i think miko likes upper body workouts all right Keep on going here, we've got 25 seconds. Take your time. Try to keep your hands in an L shape. You're doing a great job. It's upper body workout today. If you ever get tired during an upper body workout, you can always sit down. If you've watched my videos, you've heard me say this before, seated arms are even more tough than standing arms. Try it and you'll know what I'm saying. Good job there, take a rest, put your weights down. You did it, you did it. 
Intro to upper body. You're all introduced to the upper body. Maybe information overload. <laughs> this might be a good workout to come back to, okay? But anyway, take a drink, take a rest, shake it out a little bit. We're gonna stretch. I'm gonna show you how to stretch all your upper body muscles. Let's go and stretch them in the order that we use them. So we started with triceps. Great way to stretch your, uh, stretch your tricep. That's a tongue twister. Is to take, uh, support your joint right here and pull overhead. Oh, good job, mom, my mom's here. Great job, good workout. Thank you for joining, all right. Tricep stretch here. So let's go over this again. Triceps, they were push muscles. Remember we pushed the weight away from us and there were three tricep muscles that were working in conjunction with each other, other side. That was the first 20% of our workout. All right, then we went to biceps, okay? We worked our forearm and our major uh, bicep muscles here, okay? Good stretch of your biceps, opening up this way. Think about elongating muscles. That's what you do when you stretch, you elongate muscles. When you strengthen muscles, you contract the muscles. So there's some opposites there. Lots to learn. Let's get the other side. Be careful you don't pull on your fingertips though. Always a pull here right on the palm. Good. All right, then we worked our chest. Great way to stretch your chest, I don't have one right here, is to put your hands in a doorway, in a door jam, an open door, and step through it, all right? So really we're trying to squeeze our shoulder blades together. Once again, elongating, that's how we stretch, elongating our chest muscles. Good. Next up, we worked our upper back, so let's stretch our upper back muscles. Put your hands together, curl your shoulders like you're just twisting your shoulders, like you want them to touch in the front and you're rounding your back. The only time that I'll approve terrible form on your back is when you're stretching your back. Good. And your shoulders, great way to stretch your shoulder, right across here, it's your delt muscles. And other side. Thank you so much for being here today. I'd love to have you on my push pin map. That's number one. So if you haven't already told me where you're from, let me know. I want to add you. And second of all, go check out my workout plan. This was part of the foundation. Get fit with Ashley.com slash camp slash plan. On behalf of Bo and Trixie and myself, we are so happy you're here. We really appreciate you. I'm Ashley from Get Fit with Ashley, and I'll see you next time.